What's up guys, Animacon here, back to showing you some tips and tricks with corn. It won't be long, so uh, just a few things that that I do during battle that's really useful to, lo to know if you want to use corn at a high level. Let's get to it. So one of the things that I do at times is a jab lock with a dare. So if you hit them with around 30 to 40 percent, I think it still works at 40, you could do a dare run chase him and then uh jab lock them with one two jab and then after do you could do a pin and be creative after you don't have to do a jab lock you could just do pin and kick but if you want that fancy clip and you want to do a jab lock to imagination then this is a, uh, a way of doing it more consistently instead of doing it you know in twitter combos or whatever you want to call it Alright, this one is called the Animicon Dare TM. <laughs> Not but for real guys, this is a dare cancel. Uh, I do this quite a lot. I actually did this against Leo. So if you're high enough, you could uh, dare and then before you hit the ground, you could react. So like right here, the force smash, the dragon shot, you could do a tilt, you could do a down tilt, you know, anything you want. You could roll to get out of the way because, you know, they're going to try to punish you there. So it's faster to react after and then they, they fall for it and then you could just you know punish them for trying to punish you there. So it's, it's a really good uh, movement option and also uh, you know punish option as well if you want to use it that way as well. Alright this one is called the double dragon shot. Uh, so this one. <laughs> This one you can, uh, if you're trying to recover with a um, dragon shot off stage, because they're you know trying to left shot or something like that, you can do actually do one dragon shot that stops your momentum in the air. The second one doesn't, but you could throw it right after and also react after because it it, it doesn't it doesn't let you stay there, so you have to you know. Uh, let it go as soon as possible because you can't charge it. If you charge it, you're just gonna fall, keep falling down. But yeah, it's one of the options that I use as well uh, if they're trying to let strap me or something like that. And also, you can you know uh, you could do it twice and still recover just like this. You do it twice. One, they block it. The other one, you know, you could throw them off. And you could also even do this like a combo if you want. You know, it, it, it's all mix-ups, but it's really good for to get them off them off the ledge. And uh, maybe it could, you know, le lead to a mix-up, to a punish or something like that. So it's a really good uh, option that you could do as well. I really recommend it. Uh, but yeah, double dragon shot. Alright, okay, this one I started using recently. Uh, I don't think uh, I, don't, I haven't seen Nikon use this. Uh, it's a pin on the ledge. You cancel by pressing down. You jump. While you're jumping, you press neutral B to keep your momentum going up, and then release the neutral B, and it, it keeps you in place uh, on the same level as the ledge. So it's another option to keep to get them off ledge. Uh, you could charge it, and if they block the charge shot, you can still get them with the bite on. Them if they're sh still shielding so it's a really good option that I use as well uh, another way to use this it's uh, for edge guarding uh, if you, if you uh, pin the same on the ledge and then you could be reverse it to uh, edge guard just like that so, it's a little bit hard to do but that's another option that's another move that I've learned Uh, this next one is one of my favorites. It's uh, I'm gonna call it the Animicon Bounce. <laughs> so uh, to do this is uh, if you have a platform, all you have to do is kick, and then when they're running towards you, you jump. It's not it's not a B reverse. It's um, when you do the kick, you jump backwards, but don't turn around. Don't don't do, don't B reverse. You just jump. You jump while still while going back. Your momentum is going back, and while your momentum is going back, you charge the, you keep charging the charge shot, 
and then as soon as you land, let it go. Full charge, full bite. For well, this one is the buff. Uh, with the buff pin in the air, it gave us a lot of different movement options that we could do in the air. So uh, you could use this to bait, you could use this to move around in the air, to uh, you know do mix-ups and stuff like that. So you just jump, and before before uh, full hop jump, uh, side beat, before you land, you could jump, you could back air, you could neutral B, you can jump in down air if they're trying to chase you where you're landing, because you could jump right after, right after you do side beat. So if you try to punish your side beat, you could jump before you land and then punish them for trying to punish you, you know? And uh, so yeah, this is a really good option that they added with the buff. That's about it guys. I just wanted to share a little bit more of the tips and tricks of coin. You know, help you with the combos and you and your uh, your train, your movement. Uh, hopefully it could help you in the future. If you want to pick up coin, you know, a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and share the like the video. See you later, alligator.